Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use earlier function in Power BI with the help of simple example. So this is a sample data set. So I have date, brand, model, and also the units. So the data ranges from 2015 to 2020 for Apple, 2017 to 2020 for Samsung and different models. So today using the earlier function, let me try to calculate a running total for each uh, brand and also combined with dates. So I should be getting the total of, uh, running total of like, let's say 10 plus 15, 25, 25 plus 20, 45 plus 30, something like this. So let me quickly load this data into Power BI. So I have the data in PBI now. So let me create a new column. So I'm not creating a new measure. Instead, I'm creating a new column here to use the earlier function. So now let me call this as example one. I'll be using the earlier function coupled with calculate and also the sum filter function. So it's not just earlier, but a combination of several other function. So I want to calculate, uh, let's say I want to see the sum of units, sum of units. And now I'll be using the filter condition here. So I'll use filter. The table is sheet one, filter expression. I'll be filtering by dates first. Sheet date is less than or equal to earlier column name is still the dates. This is my first filter expression. And now, since I want to do a running total based on dates and brands, so now what I'll be doing is add one more uh, filter, second filter here filter table name is sheet one and expression is brand is equal to earlier brand. Hit enter. So I should be getting running total now based on the combination of date and brand. So as you can see here, let's say Apple iPhone 4. So the unit sold was 10, so I'm getting 10. So in next year, 2016, 15, uh, unit sold is 15. 10 plus 15, I'm getting 25. Similarly, 2017, I have 20. 20 plus 25, it gives me 45. And let's say iPhone 6, so unit sold 45. The previous cumulative was 75. 75 plus 45 gives me 120. And 120 plus 50 gives me 170. But now it changes, as you can see, right? So now it's no more Apple, it's Samsung. So Samsung started starts from 1-1-2017. One, one, so the first unit sold in this year is 100. So I have 100. And then next year, 150. So 100 plus 150 gives me 250. So I'm able to partition my data by dates and also the brand. And we can use several other combinations to get the running total. So this is one of the way or the methods to use earlier. So what I noticed is like earlier function is always coupled with other functions like sum, sum x, and filter. So this is how it works. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.